Good morning. Um, today's kind of a rush morning because uh, we woke up and they're like, yeah, we're leaving in 10 minutes to go to the convention center to SEMA to uh, get our badges because we're going to have to like wear like these lanyard badges the whole time at the show. Uh, kind of like a school ID or something like that, but yeah. traffic because of the roll-in. I guess that's what this is. Oh, oh geez. It's a zip tie. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, look at that Porsche. It has that slant nose thing in the front, the kit. The red one right there. Yeah. Has that Liberty Walk slant nose thing. Oh, that's a big Willie. <laughs> Little Willie, big Willie. Wish I had a cool setup for my camera. There's a lot of off road stuff here, it seems. Look at all the chrome underneath it. <laughs> yeah. Right now at 18 pounds of boost at our local setting at uh, 70, 7300 is making just over 700 in the wheels. Is that how many it's got that much fuel sensor, so it'll automatically pull, pull power out of it when I have to it. But it just smells with the, with the castor oil in it. It's the exact same paint as me. It's like that pretty little sparkly boy. No, I can't even look at it. It's like so damn. It does so much body work. That's really pretty. I love all the lines from these cars. Oh, jeez. Rolled my ankle again. <laughs> look at the one next to it right here. Look at this one. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, that's performance light. I don't know. Okay, let's go. So that's where I think Richard's going to be all around here. He's right here. Well, look at that wing. Hey, I need to get to that level. It's, I'm going to say that it's a time attack for the car. Or it could be just a show car that wants to look like a race car and has everything done to it like a race car. There's a giant turbo that sticks out of the hood. Uh -huh. Well, it doesn't have a hood. I don't think anyone would put that much effort into side skirt era, otherwise. LOL. Sitting by a guy in New York. Was it this color on the other side? I thought it was dark.
It is blocked. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Is he having a seizure? Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. It was it was at um, it was at Dom's, the place where Ryan Turk works on the cars. It was there, like an unveil before it came here. I just saw it in his, uh, his story. This is white line. I was like, I just hear, like, a welding. <laughs> they give welding, not tutorials, but, like, demonstrations. Because that's what they're selling, welding, the welders. So we are... I remember seeing Traxxas, or no, I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, we are. Wow, oh, this is really nice. This is the GTR kit for it. It's a lot easier to get than my dumb shoes. That's why I'm mad I didn't get one of these. It's one of so much easier. There's a lot more money in, in general, so the kit is like $8,000, so it's like no matter what you have to spend that much, it's not like a, oh, there's a cheaper one. Um, we should probably somehow head that way, but we should probably go around. <laughs> Whoa. Not sure if real dirt and real mud, but probably it looks very real. <laughs> what do you think, Rachel? There's grass and stuff all on the Okay, it yeah. is a real car. See, this is how I want to show up to shows, is like this. Like with the 100%. car just totally fucked. Yeah, because you can tell like this is all. Holy shit. What is this for? Like, what is this? NASCAR. Ah, this is apparently a NASCAR. <laughs> this is a new generation. No, you know this shit is like real though. Uh -huh. Look, see the latches. It's I, yeah. I just like looking at race cars because like you can figure out how to do all this stuff because they do everything so differently compared to real cars. Like their their hoods and everything are so. Oh, see the, that's the filler cap. It's like mm -hmm. a quick one where you have to like boot up the thing. I never saw these latches before. They have the same hood ones. As you can see, but there's nothing underneath there. There's just a trunk space. Well, they have like a radiator set up there, obviously, but. I like the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to be aerodynamic. Everything on the car is like literally made to be, you know, decent.
Yeah, it has a lot of depthness to it. <laughs> Do you like this? Do you like a Ford GT? Not the color, but like the actual thing. Oh, we're in the Ford thing. This is really pretty. This is really pretty. Car that was parked uh. above me. I can't drive without ripping my tires. It's the one that was on the street in front of us. Moral Lane, yeah, Miller. Really good. It's really good and shit. It's like expensive. Is this a Mustang? I don't know. Something. Something that they're unveiling. Is it like not allowed to walk on the carpets or not? Because I mean, I assume so because they have like plastic and stuff on them. So. Oh. I want an LS. <laughs> oh, little Honda. <laughs> Their wheels are really nice too. That's a funny car. This is a Porsche e box. Yeah, that is really pretty. I think. Yeah, just. Oh, this is another bag. slant nose. I'm on bags too. Okay. They told me it's okay because I'm on bags.
Yeah. They didn't have these cabinets here before. And my car's around the corner, literally. Are you buckling it up? Yeah, I can hear the clicks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you slide your touch on the on the bar <laughs> <I think>. <laughs> <laughs> It's like actually a lot more complicated than I feel like it is normally. Yes, yeah, pull your butt up for the camera. <laughs> so yeah, we cleaned that as much as we could. There was some like clear over spray on the windshield that we had to scrape off and now it looks better. But there's like permanent marks. Um, you can kind of see them right there. There's like permanent marks on the Lexan. Uh, my friend said it was like from the cold or something, like from like the condensation embedding itself into it. I don't know how true that is, but... Did you just sit on the harness?
This is like a brand new race car, I suppose. It hasn't been used at all. This is the brand new Toyota Supra body. <laughs> Look, it's pumpkin and a curl. That's what I mean. With their new cars, they try to modify the new cars to show people that there's potential in like the brand new cars, which I don't really know because I don't want to cut up a thirty thousand dollar brand new car that's warranty. Dude, that's the that's the net that goes wraps around. Do you see how much better that cage is? Like, ooh, so pretty. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, gonna be, that's all you're going to be able to breathe out of. They have locking ones with a key and they don't. Um, I was just not going to get the key because I mean the trunk, the hood doesn't lock anyway, so might as well not do anything. Oh no. Oh, look at that diffuser. One big exhaust. <laughs> That's what I want a diffuser like. I feel like that would scrape everything. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a robot. <laughs> it's a robot making pizza. <laughs> it literally is a robot making pizza, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it actually is pizza. Oh, well, look, right, while you do that, I'll be here. There's the whole super lineup the MK4 and the MK3. I think this Super was actually called like a camera. I, mean, I don't know if it was a Camry. I don't know. It always oh, it was a Celica. That's right. It's a Celica Supra. We're gonna go try to find Adam LZ's S15 now. That way. Oh, this is an RG, that's all. Jägermeister. There's also a Jägermeister Porsche livery and a BMW livery. Oh, look at that rat rod down there. Oh, that's a that's a pro drift car. That's, that's a Formula D car. There's two people that drive that. I guess this is their turbo sponsor or something. James Dean. Which is the guy who died in a Porsche. <laughs> yeah. I really want to get into building a rat rod. This is also on air, obviously, so it can air up. I'm pretty sure. that's it, It's probably hidden under there. Or it's that tank right there that's wrapped. Yeah. This is Wild Wood Brakes, which I would love to have on my car. Thank you very much.
music, this is how they avoid crumpling it. Yeah, they make a ton of parts for Subaru. They make a ton of parts for Subaru. The Cusco over here, the oldest. Oh my god. This is the one fucking suspension. This is like, these are the one coilovers I really want on my car. Um, like their professional Pro GT racing spec ones are $12,000. This company, Olin's. Yeah, they're $12,000 for coilovers. They're literally like the best, they're literally the best coilovers you can buy. Like, cause I mean, they're they're literally in the highest end of, like, what is it, motorsports? Are right, you, Mr. Adam? Oh, Ford is there. Chevy was. Oh, there's Garrett's right here. Garrett's right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right there. Chevy's right here. Yeah, his car is on the recover already. That's 15, the one that he's been building, or that not he's been building, but people they've been building for. The only thing is, everyone knows how it looks, it's just the wrap color. That's it. Yeah, I mean, they're revealing at 1.30 tomorrow. Okay. Bathroom's right there. There's two, also, probably. There's one on each side, which is the scary part. <laughs> Yeah, these are like the cars that make two, three thousand horsepower and they like drag. Well, obviously, that's a drag car. Yeah. Oh, there's man. Yeah. So far back to get the whole thing, and this is like, doesn't matter. So we are finally done loading in, kind of. Everyone has to be out by three because there's going to be carpet laid all in between here. But I'll give you guys a closer look at her car. It is built and makes like 550 horsepower, so. <laughs> what? You said, I thought you, I thought I heard you say no, no. Yeah. You thought I was taking a picture. Full mirror underneath it. Huh? Have a full mirror underneath it. meal on that thing. <laughs> That's insane. Attention all exhibitors in the AACs. Hey, what's up guys? So we're now back in the hotel room and uh, yeah. I don't know. I think that's going to be it for uh, today's video quite honestly. Just took a shower but yeah. Because uh, all, I mean, that's really it. <laughs> 
we're, we're done. We do have like a dinner tonight in two hours. Two hours uh, with the with the past mag people. You know the people that made this contest possible and got my butt over here to Vegas. So there's really not much more to record because like you know there's not really going to be any more car stuff for the rest of tonight or anything. So I guess I'm just going to edit this and get this over with because I do want to go to bed tonight at a reasonable time since we are going to be leaving the hotel at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, we do have like we get in an hour or two early before everyone else does. But yeah I mean Next four days are going to be pretty big and very exhausting, so I already bought a pack of Red Bull and that's what I'm going to be relying off of for the next four days because it's going to be pretty damn serious. But I guess that's it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, as a, Just so you guys know, um, literally all the cars that you saw in the convention center, that was maybe like, what, 70 to 80% of the cars in the central hall? I didn't show you guys the upstairs of Central Hall, Hall, nor did I show you the three other halls. There's a hall for like mainly detailers and other and a couple wheel companies like South Hall. There's another hall which is wheels and tires, which there's a ton of show cars in there. And then everything in between the halls outside, as you saw in the beginning of the video when we were walking outside, is all like show cars. There's a whole thing behind the convention center where there's a battle of the builders, which is kind of like a contest similar to what I'm in, but it's more serious because the cars are way more serious and uh, there's like a young guns battle too which is like a anyone under 28 year, years old maybe we'll do that next year maybe not I don't know but uh, you know I'll get all that tomorrow or at least get most of it tomorrow you know don't expect to see the whole show in a day but uh, I did live stream a little bit to show everyone the convention center and talk a little bit about the cars uh, if I had to choose a favorite probably that time attack Subaru in the last clip or the Porsche race car, because I, I, I really like the race cars there, because I like cars that are driven, you know, character. But anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the big day. Uh, thank you so much for making this all possible. Seriously, my car does not deserve to be at SEMA. Those cars are so damn well built there, but I got it there thanks to you guys. Thank you so much, as always. I feel like that's how I'm going to close off every video for like the next month. Be like, thank you so much. But seriously, thank you so much. Uh, the contest does begin tomorrow as well. Um, I will be posting in the community thread of how to go vote. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.